open here. Let's go and check them out. And let's see here. We can get that guy pretty much fixed away. Or how we're going to open this. Okay, so let me go ahead and take a look at this guy here. So we need to probably cut him open, which we'll do. He said knee it, huh? I don't know what that knee. See if I could just poke a little a hole like that here. So this is 9-2. Thread. I didn't even realize they make them at the other store carry. I'm not sure I find this at the hardware store though. Oh, sorry. Actually, you know what? It might be best just to get a little something snippet. So let me go get the plier. I'm gonna go and snip and have it ready. As soon as we get this guy done here. This guy's ready. Let's just snip at him a little bit. Maybe this is how you snip it. There go, we snip. Uh, we won't pour any out right now. We'll just put the cap on lightly. Get Make sure it's tightly in there. Okay, we'll set this so he's ready to go. But let's go ahead and get our position here ready. And we're going to get a tie. So we have a tie strap there. There we go. We got some tie strap. This might be enough to be able to bring him in and lock him down once we get him tight enough. So we'll find out. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and position this so we can actually unlock it and lock it. Well, not really locking it right now. We're just gonna open it up. So I'm actually not gonna pump to build pressure. I'm just gonna actually pump just to release this guy, tie strap him. So if I'm doing that, hmm. Let's see here. If I'm doing that, I'll do the tie strap right now. more further for us. So let me go and get a tie strap on this. Let me put them on the handlebar. Bring them really much into pressure. It's gonna be a. We're not wanting to side yet. We just want to first, I guess, re replace them. So we just put this pretty much in. Let's go. See here. We're gonna pull it in. Okay. So I'm gonna squeeze it now and then squeeze it while you ice further thickening. Okay, it's squeeze down, all you say. You know what we said to nine, or said it to six, probably what helped us a little bit more too. All right, so that's fine. Uh, I think it's not fresh there. Uh, let's do, let's do a little bit um, I'm really confident trap here. I mean, the tie trap is not the problem. I think is the, I totally forgot that we snipped it far. So I'm gonna actually have to one more time. So let's go and cut this guy off. There we go. I think what if we position it back for, I think we get as high as low out. And put it down. Again, I got at level position number six, pretty much as high as peak. Hopefully it's not going to be so messy because again, we got to bleed it back and forth. It's also, once we crack that open. All right. Uh -huh. There we go. It's all right. Right, so it's flush now, so there's nothing we can do for this. Now it's a matter of changes here. So we'll the clean climb as we need to. There's something right here. Wipe this right on. Okay, so we're gonna break it up. Super. Okay, oh, it's gonna get messy. Take everything out of the way that needs out of the way. Our cutter, our tools. And let's go ahead and break this guy. There you go, look at that. He's coming around the mountain when he comes. You can see all that little gunk. Now we're gonna be able to take him completely out. And we're gonna have some drip, that's just the way it is. So I'll put this underneath it quickly. There we go. There we go. I'm not sure we might be able to need to bleed him or not bleed him. We'll find see how long this guy is. He's the same length as our old one here. But however, these guys are shorter though. That's why I'm blocking. But there's no need to replace him if he's not damaged. Anyway, so what we're gonna do is just put a little thread lock on him as soon as I get him dry though. I want him dry as well as I want the inside of guys dry. So what I'm gonna do is stick, stick a clean, or try to anyway. I'm gonna try to stick a little bit clean, make a little funnel here to go inside the cavity. You can see here it's being held by the brake lever, uh, but I definitely need to be introduced to it after this, so I might need to go back while still bleed them. Okay, so here we go. I'm 
sort of. I mean, you can suck it, but it's creating a vacuum on top for it. There we go. It's soaked up it's here. You can see that it's the inside of it. There, see, it's nice and clean on the inside. This is a brand new brake assembly. So I'm gonna do is roll up some more. I'm gonna try to roll up to try to get the thread area dry. I don't, I don't mind that there's gonna be a little bit wet all the way deep down, but I just don't want the thread area here to just pollute our, um, our thread locker before it gets a chance to, you know, what I mean, harden. All right, sorry, my hand. Can't. Okay, I'm gonna pull it out. Almost there, it's nice and now. See there, I'm trying to clean all up the wick out all the um, this area. Some, some uh, white lot on there. So far, it's not a messy job. Thank you. Drive it out so when you drive out, you have to reverse it, reverse the cloth there. Actually, bolts on there, it bolts the cloth there like with a screw. So, there you go, I can back up. So, I'm gonna just dry this out too, really well because he's gonna be the one that's gonna go back in there and finish, finish the, the seal it down. Give it a good wipe. Make sure it's all dry. You can see there's we got almost a good size of thread in there. So here we go. I'm gonna go and put this this block height here. Again, it's just not gonna work for vibration. It's not block height where it helps you prevent you from being vibration or anything like that. This is just gonna help it from creating seals. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave a little bit off the thread, a little bit off the one first thread, but I'm gonna try to get around all the second thread. I'm not sure even sure how much it pours out or what kind of base is kind of come out. Definitely don't want it to. Oh, look at that. It comes like almost a gel. You guys see it? Almost like a super glue gel. And you don't need a lot. Oh, now it mixes. Now it mixes. This is interesting. I'm not sure if I'm trying to go for this only. But a lot though. Sure I'll have to reapply this all the time. Every time we, you know, install Bonjo. All down up. Try to do this in there. You don't want a lot. No focusing on that. And the one that is in the red. Keep it clean. Then you be near the Bonjo open. And leave your butt thread. So I got more to do. Yeah. Sure, I just said no. I don't want this one to be there. So I'm just gonna give it another twirl. See that? I'm getting like white. Alright, it's in there. I think we created almost a perfect SOS on it. You see that? Let me close this back. It's like a really. Lot of idle 2, huh? 592, sorry. There we go. Alright, so there you go. I think we got enough here that I think it's not going to clog on its own. So it's going to run the thread. This run through the there. So there you go. I'm going to put it in there. But in the meantime, I'm going to prepare also because we need to to probably bleed this some more. That'd be interesting. Well, we didn't introduce the design, so here we go. It's going to rub some on the surface, which is normal. There we go. I'm going to turn it clockwise. I mean, we did a really good dry. Now you can see here, some of that Loctite is going to come, you know, spreading around. See that? It's just normal. There we go. There we go. Look, we got most of it in there still. Okay, now what I'm going to do is maybe try to bleed it at the same time. So let me see how much it can crush down on its own. So this is tightening it. Okay, I'm going to reach over and open and close still. 
just like what's a bleed the uh, bolt still. So you guys can see. So I'm gonna reach over there. Well, I'm gonna pocket right because I got this close. Make sure I really get it close. And you know what? I'm not even that confident. I'm thinking, why don't we close it all the way? Let it seal. Let us do his job. Or should we start pumping it? If we start pumping it, where you know we're introducing brake fluids to the other side, right? Which one's the better option here? Right now, supposedly, it's sealed, but it's not really. So let's see, let's see. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna tighten this system right here, okay? There you go. That's tightening it. Let's go some more tightening it. This is 5.8, a uh, 15. Okay, this is tight. There you go, that's really tightening it more. You can see that little spurt coming out. Which is fine to me, we'll wipe it out as soon as it forms a little better seal for us. Just gonna wipe the bottom off a little bit. Some of that. No pressure yet. So what I'll do is this. I'll turn on the hose because I believe I will squeeze it all anything more. So let's find out. I don't want to actually really bowels yet because if I release it, the fluid will be sealed. I can really try to use the seal, but I just have to so it's like it's really, really, really wet. Going by, I can't see. Nothing on it. There you go. Camera's at low today. So we got 90 people in that guy. Go. A clear coat of that. Here's the seal with you when we oh, we actually still seal. So we might actually start pumping now because we definitely got our pipe. So let me get this here. I'm gonna go cut the high strap on the brake lever. And I'm In fact, I see these are not so that bleed after anything. We're gonna cut the tie strap off of him. He's released again. Alright, let's see. Ready? We'll do a squeeze. You know what? He's still tight. He's still pretty damn tight. That was, that was easy. I mean, I'm not sure we still have to break him or bleed him, but I don't think there's really much... I don't think air in him, right? We can always assure it. You want to do it? Open and close. He still has a wet seal on him. Find out. He's really sealing. Or he's just playing with us. I'll, I'll let's try and break at the same time then. So pump, I'm gonna go ahead and um, thing so I can see up here. Yeah. Yeah. See we can get guys. So this is clean down to open, okay? One, two, five, eight, nine. Gosh. See, oh, look at that. There is air bubbles. One, two, three, five, six, and eight. One, two, three, seven, ten. Oh. Come on. One, two, three. Okay, new leaks. What's that? Interesting. Here we go. They're shocking it up. It's like it. Here. Right, up, okay. And let's clean up and get everything back. We're going to be filming. Pretty cool. Let's get this guy out of the way. Don't want to say. You'll come down. The wind is back inside. Like, uh -uh. Do not take it out. Let's go get this guy. It's bib up. Oh, look at that. It went halfway already. That's freaking fast. Huh? So let's go. And how much for the tap? We're going to use our existing one. Oh, yeah. It's another. Almost. We'll finish this guy off. Almost. Oh, I think that's about it. The rest. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. I think the rest is going to be okay. Yeah, so we still got a little bit more in there. Maybe half an ounce still. So I see he did the job just right. So that means I have to worry about the other one for a while. So let's clean him up. All around his edges. 
So we got almost half of it back out quickly. Just want to wipe the edges here. In fact, we can take this whole nap off now. Okay, so breathe tight. Over. Get them all over. Screws and packs. Right, Ray. Come There we go. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm going Mm -hmm. My aunt lost her uh, her nutcracker there. She's been uh, making walnuts. <laughs> we gave her a little plier to help hit because she doesn't have that much strength. That's when you get when you get older. Can't get it back. Just got enjoyment. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take a job back right now. Go get our shop back and get all this thing. Squared away. Okay, yeah. <laughs> she found it. Oh, we found it. <laughs> Cracks in this. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna some, some more. Make pecan pie. I don't know if she'll do that. Amazing thing to make pecan pie. Fried American pie. Oh, yeah. I love pecan pie though. I love everything sweet. Okay, so here I'm making noise. Okay, I'm noisy a little bit, okay? So here we're gonna plug this guy in. I apologize, the whole camera's been delaying for whatever reasons doing this. Just... Okay, we're gonna do this. All right, here we go. I wipe it all over there. You want to keep this dry? You don't have hard time to have moisture on it. So he should be dry. Them, but just be careful. Can't put your hands on there to catch them. Might as well get this all of here, right? All right, stuck it with every in here. Hey, to me, I did. It's dry. Over. Put my finger on it. Just to make sure I don't go hold there. You work the drop. Uh, that's good though. It's going to get a tap. Make sure this tap is also. I'm sure there's nothing in there. But just to make the best. 